Beth, Laura here. Today I am doing a collab with Danielle Smith. I'll put her name down the bottom because I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your last name right. <laughs> so I've actually been following Danielle for way longer than she realizes because when I first started following Danielle, she, um, I was just using my normal YouTube, my real name, and it was before I had started following people that do makeup on with my own channel so um, eventually I worked out that if I um, follow people with my actual channel name then people will know who I am so, so I have actually been watching Danielle for ages and she took a break for a while and now she's come back and um, I was really happy when she said she was happy to do a collab with me and I saw on her one of her videos was her palette collection or something like that. Yeah, it was it was her eyeshadow palette collection video. Um, that she had the Take Me Back to Brazil and she had the Aurora Lights and she'd said she wanted to use this one more. So I sort of said, oh, do you want to do a collab and use those two palettes? And um, I said, do you want to do a bingo or do you want to choose each other's colours? And um, she said, let's choose each other's colours. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. So for me, so I chose her colours and she chose my colours. So for the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, she chose this yellow here. Looks like this. And she showed chose this green here and this blue here Can you do I probably had my hand in the way the whole time this blue here <laughs> Those are my three mattes, so this palette's basically all mattes and the other palette's all shimmers, so that's what we've got so far. And then in this BH palette, she chose Ombre, which is a kind of a white sparkly thing with a bit of blue sparkle, it's like a white with blue sparkles in it and I don't know how well that will show up it's there it's kind of like a top shade well it is really basically a top shade and the other one is called flashing which is this silver one here and this one is kind of a topper type shade as well and she chose Magnetic, which is this dark blue here. Which is more like your standard shimmer, but it's a dark, dark blue. And it's kind of got a kind of a blue purple shimmer in it. So that is what she chose for me. No warm tones, <laughs> apart from the yellow. But um, this could be a bit challenging for me. I'm, I don't use a lot of dark blue and stuff. But I can really see Danielle in these colours. That These are the kind of colours that I think she would choose for her. <laughs> so I'm going to be challenged to do these colours for me. Now, because I'm using that dark blue, I'm actually going to set my eye base in my crease with just some face powder because 
I want to be able to easily blend that dark blue. Okay, I'm going in with this Chichi pencil brush and I'm going to go into the dark blue here. So take two. And I'm going to put it in the crease. And then I'm going to go into the green, which is this one here. Now, as I said, I've been following Danielle probably way longer than she realises. <laughs> I've been stalking you, Danielle. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I just really enjoy her channel and her personality. And um, so I was following her before I even started doing makeup videos. And she's very sweet. And she's chatty. Like all the people that I watch, really, nearly everyone I watch is all very chatty. And, and that's what I like. I like having a chatty person to listen to. And it just feels like you're communicating with a friend, even though you're just watching someone and commenting on their videos and things. And I'm going to go into the yellow mat here. And I'm going to go up the top here. You already know what I'm going to do anyway because you saw it at the beginning. <laughs> she does um, lovely colourful looks. Quite dramatic, quite dark. She goes a lot darker than what I do. She's a lot bolder and darker than me. I usually go a bit more light and a bit warmer. I can see her in this colour scheme that she chose for me. <laughs> I'm going to go back into the green. Just blend that with the yellow a bit. And at the moment she's on a low buy. So she's coming up with lots of different creative ways to use the makeup she's got without spending too much money. And then I'm going to go into the yellow with a flat brush. I'm going to put some of that on here. She's just finished doing her makeup collection videos and she showed us all her palettes and I love those videos where you see people's collection. I'm just nosy. <laughs> but also I just like seeing what what people like and what they use lots and gives you good tips on what's actually valuable to buy. And I like seeing how people store things because that gives me ideas too. <laughs> So, I think I now want to go in with the Aurora Lights palette and I'm going to choose this dark blue called Magnetic. I'm not sure if I've got the right brush for what I'm going to do, I'm going to try. It looks very similar to the other blue but it's just got a little bit of iridescence to it. Put that in the outer corner. I've noticed that Danielle's been getting more into collabs lately, so that's why I thought, oh, wonder if she'd like to collab with me. <laughs> it's pretty blue. Now, I think I'm going to go back into the green, the green mat. This one here. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really. I have a very vague idea whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. So what she's been doing lately since she's been back is 
She's been talking about a low buy and she's been doing palette bingos. She's been doing a bit of decluttering and palette collections, makeup collection videos. She's doing chatty get ready with me, so I'm just going to go into the yellow. I think I'll go back into the green and just bring that down into the blue a bit more. And then I'm going to go back into magnetic, just finessing what I've done. Then I'm going to go into ombre. So I don't want it really opaque, but I'm just going over the green to make it into a shimmer. It's got a really nice kind of bluey colour. And then over the yellow, I'm going to go into flashing, which is that silvery one because these are kind of like topper shades so that's what I'm using them as. So I'm not spraying my brush or anything because I just want it to mix with the colour. This one's more opaque than that one. Hang on. Go back into the yellow a bit. <laughs> Getting it all over me. Needs a nice fallout. And then I'm going to go back into the dark blue matte. I'm going to get my blue LA colour, my LA Girl Glide On Gel Pencil in Royal Blue. And then I'm going to go in with my Colourpop one in Punch, which is the yellow one. I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go in with the yellow and start there, go in with the green and then in with the blue. So I'm just using the mattes. So I kind of get that gradient going. And then I'm going to go in with, I think, I think I'm going to go in with flashing, flashy, which is the silvery one. And I just want to put a little bit up here. It's very crumbly, this one. It's a little bit of highlight on my brow bone, but I'm doing it very subtly. That makes sense. I'm just doing a very tiny bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up and put the rest of my makeup on. And here's what we've got going on so far. And I think for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into ombre. And I'm gonna put that on top of that yellow just in there. I'll just put that in the wrong colour. <laughs> let me just wipe that blue off. I stuck it in polar instead. It's a pretty colour. And now I need some mascara. So I'm going to go in with my Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara in a little sample. And here is my finished look. So on my lips today I have got my Soft Toffee in my Ulta 3 lipstick, which looks like this. And then just in the middle I put a little bit of my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Goldilux, which is actually an eyeshadow. 
black but I wanted a bright kind of gold to fit more in with the yellow and my earrings today are the ones that the beautiful Kaylee Wesley gave me so here is my final look using this color scheme which is probably worn off a bit now these two colors here are very hard to see <laughs> and I haven't really dipped into the Aurora Lights palette hardly at all so I was really glad to be able to play with this and I want to play with some with it some more um, Queenie from Queenie's Makeup 68 I think that's right <laughs> I'll put her name on the screen she says how she loves really loves this palette and um, I've had it for a while and I haven't really had a chance to use it much so I was really glad to dip into that and use it a bit and what do you think Danielle did I do a good job on the colour scheme that you chose for me. It was probably not a colour scheme I would have chosen and that's why doing this kind of thing is really good because it kind of gets you out of your comfort zone and do something different that you wouldn't normally do because I don't do a lot of kind of cool tone looks. So if you don't know Danielle then I will leave her link down the bottom and I'll put her in the cards and you can go and check her out and tell her that you came from me, just so she knows. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.